Have you heard about ChatGPT? Are you wondering whether you can use it to create project management artifacts, such as a project plan? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly what this tool can do and whether or not it is something that you could potentially use. So I've got on the screen here, I've put in one of, um, one of the first kind of prompts just to show you what ChatGPT is. If you are yet to use it, maybe you've heard about it and not quite sure, or maybe it's new to you uh, altogether. So this is what ChatGPT is telling me from a prompt where I'm asking it is essentially what it is. So if we look here, it is essentially a large language model developed by OpenAI, which by the way is kind of owned by Microsoft. Um, basically what it does is you input different prompts and what it does is it gives you different responses um, based on a data set that I believe goes back to 2021 that's almost looking at a load of data across the internet or that was published before that time. It's still in a development phase, uh, so do bear that in mind. Uh, and it also has a lot of interest at the moment, so sometimes you can't access the tool. Um, maybe you have an account already. If you do, like myself here, I can log in and start using it. If you don't, you may uh, be brought to a page that says it's kind of being used and it is at kind of maximum capacity and you might not be able to use it at the time that you want to. So just bear that in mind. There is a pro feature as well, which um, will help you to access it in times of a lot of usage. But yeah, just thought I'd give you that kind of context. Um, what I'm going to show you now is how you can actually use ChatGPT to create a project plan. So one of the things I'd just like to quickly note is that ChatGPT is most effective when you kind of get your prompt, uh, the kind of more information you provide in your prompt. So I've already thought of this ahead of time. Of course, you may want to adapt this. It will depend on the project you're running and you also might want to play around with it. Um, but this is one, as, as an example, I'm going to be doing it for a marketing project uh, to show you what th this tool can do and how quickly it can do it. So what I've put here is create a project plan in tabular form for a marketing project. And if we hit this little button here, it's going to create it for us. So here we go. It's kind of going live. Sure, here's an example of a project plan for a marketing project in tabular form. And as you can see here, it is starting to build it out. So you've, we've got the task description, a start date and end date and a duration. And what it's doing here is it's actually giving us sample tasks as well. So obviously this is very, very quick. It's very easy. It's a very, very basic project plan. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it is one nonetheless, and it gives you some ideas for tasks as well. So consider this as a, a first draft. And that's one of the benefits of ChatGPT is that you'll notice this when it finishes. Um, you can ask the, the, the tool to expand upon what it's already done. Um, so we'll wait for it to finish and I'll see what I mean. So at the bottom here, it says, note, this project plan is just an example and will vary depending on the scope of the marketing project. The timeline and task can be adjusted accordingly. So what we can do at this point is we could ask, uh, you know, could put in a couple more prompts, such as provide more tasks. We could, we could add another prompt such as provide more milestones or alternatively, we could add something like provide more columns for data capture as an example. And let's see what happens. As I say, I don't know what this is going to provide me. It's a, a new tool. It's developing all the time. Um, but as you can see here, it's given us much, you know, much, a much more expanded project plan that you may need. So and again, it's going to add the tasks. So this is the kind of thing you want to do with it. You want to give it a response, uh, give it a prompt. And then if you need to, you can always add to it by adding extra prompts. And that's what's great. It kind of uses the former response and builds upon it. So the next thing that we could do is we could then say something like provide, provide this project plan with milestones and subtasks as an example. So what I would suggest that you do is head over to chat uh, GPT and, and stop playing around with the tool. Um, what you can do, I'll just wait for it to finish. I could press this stop generating button, but I'm not going to. Let's just let you know finish this. Let's finish so that I can we can have a kind of completed version based on um, the, the the prompt that we've given it. So hopefully this is nearly done. Oh, I don't know how long it's going to go. This is very uh, comprehensive. This one. But yeah, as I say, this this is a template, so you can you can adapt this 
um, you, or you can use it for ideas. This is not going to be a finished thing um, or a finished project plan, and it's not going to maybe apply to every type of project. Um, you know, you might want to type in something like um, create a project uh, plan in tabular form for a, I don't know, uh, a, a te technology project or a finance project. Or you could, um, you could even say create a project plan with the columns and then put them in quotation marks and it will build it for you. Obviously in that use case, it's probably not gonna be quicker than just going into Excel as an example. But what I wanted to show you here, um, look, we've got some context as well, if you wanted to look into it. But what you can also do, and this is where the speed comes in, um, is you can select it all. I've got shift on my keyboard held down and I've selected the whole table, a control C. And if you go into Excel and control V, you'll see it's literally brought it in with some formatting as well. You've got the gray kind of tabular um, for um, formatting and then obviously you can just change this by default it's that so go font we can change this to Calabria as an example make it a bit bigger you know you can you can change all the formatting but you know you have got a um, a project a basic project plan that you can build from here you could get rid of all the tasks and you could just have the columns but yeah you could save this up and work from it from here but I just wanted to show you this because it is useful ChatGPT is developing uh, I believe they're going to release a new tool at the moment it's just in its kind of playground phase so yeah it's just a lot of testing at the moment um, and it's not kind of fully available to the public but it will get better uh, and in time who knows this could be much more comprehensive from the outset so I hope this video is useful if it was please hit the like button that tells me I should continue making videos like this and do consider subscribing to the channel if you head over to my channel you'll notice there's very different playlists um, all about project management whether it's uh, project management methodology uh, processes or building out templates like project plans or risk registers as an example um, and there's also some other playlists on different tools as well that project managers commonly use that you may want to, to learn more about so with all of that said i hope you have an excellent day